Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a grocery haul. Literally just got back from the grocery store. I went to Wegmans, which is my absolute, absolute favorite. I'm obsessed with Wegmans. But anyway, so I wanted to show you everything I got. Usually I get all fancy and I sit down and film and show you guys everything I got. But today I just decided to do it vlog style just to kind of switch it up. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, format. But so I'm going to show you everything that I got. But also I have a little bit of a bonus for this video as well. Because the other day I actually went to Costco and picked up a few staples that I like to have. And I showed it on my Snapchat. And everyone was asking me to show uh, what I got at the Costco. So I figured I would do it in this haul instead of just on Snapchat. So let me show you everything I got from Costco and then we'll do the Wegmans haul. Okay, so first thing from Costco, big box of coffee. This is the coffee that we drink and really like. It's just the Kirkland breakfast blend. I also got a couple boxes of bars. I got the Kirkland nut bars. So these are like knockoffs for kind bars. And I think you get like, you definitely get a lot more bars in this box versus the kind one and it's cheaper. And literally guys, the ingredients are almost identical so and Matt says they taste the same so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative and you like Kind bars and you like Costco check those out also just got a box of Cliff bars I'm not a huge like giant fan of either one of these bars I mean they're okay but Matt really likes to bring them to work um, they are especially these ones not really these ones but uh, definitely a little sugary he's also a really big dude though so you know <laughs> it doesn't really matter as much for him because he just needs so many calories so got these two boxes because Matt likes these for work I also got a box of these raspberries as you can see I already kind of dipped into this because I went to Costco a few days ago so some of the stuff I've already opened and eaten but got this huge thing of raspberries it's like double the amount of a normal one and I think these were like maybe four dollars four dollars and fifty cents so that was really good for raspberries also got a bag of frozen wild salmon burgers I really really like these the ingredients are pretty good I mean obviously just eating like a plain salmon filet is better but these are just really good and easy and I've been eating these uh, a lot for lunch lately so I really really like these and they have a good like very mild seasoning flavor to them which I like I also got some different nuts and like nut mixes. This is just a nut mix with a bunch of different nuts, obviously almonds, walnuts, uh, pecans, things like that. And then it also has like some cranberries and I think some pistachios maybe. And then I just got this huge bag of almonds cause this is just the cheapest way to buy them. I typically don't, I mean, I like to have uh, almonds to snack on. I typically don't eat them all by themselves because it's just kind of boring. <laughs> but I love mixing almonds with blueberries and eating them like together. It's so good. Also got some organic chicken. This is something I buy pretty much every time I go. I just get the uh, chicken breasts um, and then I freeze them. These are actually frozen right now because obviously I went a few days ago. And then the very last thing I got was this huge box of spinach. This is like 16 ounces of organic fresh um, spinach so love that because I go through this stuff like crazy and then as for what I spent at Costco I have the receipt right here and my total was $161.18 which to me is like ouch I always hate the bill when I go to Costco because it's never you know cheap <laughs> but this is all stuff that I will definitely use it's just like good wholesome foods to have on hand maybe not the bars but Matt really likes those and obviously if I were to buy this stuff just at the grocery store and not wholesale over time it would have ended up to be a lot more expensive so that always makes it feel a little better but $161 is what I spent there how do you feel about that total Rosie and now for everything that I got from Weg Mins this is obviously a lot more stuff First thing I got was just this bag of frozen stir fry veggies. Typically I'm more of a fresh veggie kind of gal, but this is just so easy to have on hand to like throw together for a weeknight meal with like some chicken and rice or whatever you want to add, tofu if you want to do like more of a vegetarian or vegan. So I um, picked up some of this and obviously the fresh vegetables would taste a little better than the frozen, but 
you know, sometimes you gotta just be a little more convenient. And in here is like just the vegetables, no added salt or sauces or anything like that, just the plain veggies. I also got a big bunch of asparagus. This is something I have on a weekly basis. Got some cucumbers. I have been loving just slicing up cucumbers and dipping them in hummus recently. Got a few heads of broccoli, love that roasted. Sweet potato, uh, love this roasted. Also Matt eats sweet potatoes in his protein shakes instead of bananas, because bana bananas can upset his stomach. Uh, I got a big thing of, uh, well not that big, but, but a bag of just like romaine lettuce that's washed and chopped up. Typically I'm more of a deep greens person, but we're gonna be making like some Mexican bowls for dinner one night this week, and I like to use this as like the lettuce instead of like spinach or something like that. I just prefer that. I also picked up some apples. I believe these are Macintosh apples. I really like these. Also got some bananas. I just like having bananas for smoothies. That's pretty much the only thing I use them for. And then I also got some uh, dried mango slices. I have been loving these to just like gnaw on <laughs> after dinner as like a little sweet something. And in here is like literally just mango, no added sugar, nothing. It's just like 100% mango slices. So be careful because a lot of times these can be really sugary and you don't want that. You just want the plain mango, not the uh, added sugar mango. So that was everything for produce. I also already have cauliflower and avocados and then obviously that big box of greens I got from Costco. So those are the other three things that are definitely like I need to have every single week. So I already have those. And then back here, I've got some salsa. I usually just like to have salsa on hand, but also we're gonna be making those Mexican bowls this week. So had to have some salsa. Picked up some diced tomatoes. I am gonna be using this for the chicken for those Mexican bowls. And also I use these pretty often. So I just picked up another can just in case I needed it. Here I have uh, some eggs. These are pasture raised eggs. I've talked about these before on my channel, but basically these are just the most humane uh, eggs you can buy. Obviously the most humane would be having your own chickens, but this is the closest you can get to that. And also since they are allowed to graze and eat grass and insects and just kind of forage, they're gonna end up being more nutritional eggs because they just have a more varied diet. So something to consider. They are really expensive though. Will not lie to you. Also back here, I have some yogurt. These Oikos are the ones for Matt. He really likes these. He likes the strawberry flavor. I also got two Siggies for myself. I got this spiced pear one just because it sounded really good. And then I also got um, just this 4% vanilla because sometimes I just want something really decadent and that's why I got it. This is not something I would eat every day just because of the fat content. I also didn't even realize that this was 2% until I got home. Typically, I like to stick to 0%. That's just my preference, but I already have a big tub of just plain Greek yogurt in the fridge, so which is why I didn't buy a whole lot of this. So I'm excited to try that, and then sometimes I just need a little, a little something fancy. So I got the 4% uh, vanilla. I also back here have some half and half uh, organic. This is just the Wegmans brand I like to have, and so does Matt. Just a little tiny bit of half and half in our coffee in the morning. Picked up some regular milk. Typically I like to, or at least as of recently, I really like to buy the um, milk that's from grass-fed cows from the same brand, but they were all out, which was really sad. So I got this one. I also picked up some vanilla unsweetened almond milk. This is just the Wegmans brand. It just sounded like a good idea. I was really in the mood for almond milk, so I picked this up. I'm thinking I'm gonna make some like chia pudding this week, maybe like a vanilla cinnamon chia pudding. I don't know, that just, I think I was hungry when I was in the store. <laughs> so picked up some of that. I also got some egg whites. These are the egg beater brand, but they're literally just like, the ingredients are just 100% egg whites. I'm not a huge egg white kind of girl. Uh, typically I like to just go for the whole egg, but the reason that I bought this is because these eggs are really expensive and I've just been on an egg kick where I've been eating eggs like every single morning for breakfast, which is not typical for me. Normally I eat oatmeal. So it's just really expensive for me to eat like two of these every morning. So I'm just gonna be eating one and then mixing it with um, egg whites, especially cause Matt really likes eggs too. He could eat like a million of them. So just to try and save money, you know, get the more humane, more nutritious eggs, but just find a way to kind of make it work. So that's why I got these egg whites. I also got some organic ground turkey. I got two packages of this. We use this in a lot of different meals, so figured I would just pick up two. I also bought this, which is super random. <laughs> this is a rebel drink. It is the ashwagandha chai. It's basically just like a chai tea fancy superfood drink. This is not something I typically drink, but you know what? It just sounded good and I'm human and I gave in and I just bought it, so I'm excited to try that. It does have some caffeine, so I think I'm gonna hold off till tomorrow because I'm trying not to consume any caffeine, even from chocolate, like after the afternoon, because I think it messes with my sleep. Um, so I also got some peppermint tea. Matt really likes this. He's been on a peppermint tea kick, so he drinks it at night. So I picked up another one of those because we ran out. 
And then I picked up some, a lot actually, of spices this week, which is not typical. I think I buy these like literally once a year. So this was definitely a more expensive grocery trip, but I ran out pretty much of all of these. So I got some ground cumin, some uh, chili powder. You actually probably saw me run out of this chili powder on my <laughs> homemade chili video if you um, watched it. I also got some oregano because I'm running really low on that. And then also this jumbo garlic powder. They didn't have any smaller ones, but honestly, I go through this really quickly. So mine's, it makes more sense to buy a bigger one. So a big thing of garlic powder. And then I also got this little guy, um, some turmeric. This is not something I typically buy. There's been like a lot of buzz about turmeric with, you know, all these proposed health benefits. To be honest, I think you'd probably need to eat a lot of it to really get these benefits, but it also doesn't hurt. So I was kind of like, eh, what the hell, I'll try it. It's just a little one, so I got it. So I don't know, I'm just gonna start trying to incorporate this into different meals, maybe on like baked veggies or I don't even know. Well, I'll have to look it up, what people even use this for, but I thought that that would be interesting. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Wegmans. And then as far as how much I spent at Wegmans, I almost forgot to tell you guys, I spent $97.99, so 98 bucks, which is more than I usually spend. Typically, I only spend about 60 to $80 like per week um, at the grocery store on average. I bought all those spices, which was almost like 20 bucks worth of spices, so obviously that's not something, I mean, I literally rarely buy those. Um, also bought that Rebel drink, so that was a little more expensive. And then the only thing I forgot to show you guys, well, well not forgot, but, um, I also bought a one Go Macro bar because I was just really having a craving for one, but I ate it on the way home, so couldn't show you that. So that was everything, um, and I spent 98, which isn't terrible, I don't think. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from the grocery store this week, and then also just like a mini Costco haul. If you want to see more of these just healthy food hauls on my channel, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me know what you guys like and what you want to see more of. You can obviously also comment down below and let me know if you want to see more of these as well, but these are super easy for me. I am happy to make more of these, so just let me know. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram and Snapchat, you definitely should be because I'm on there all the time and I give a lot of sneak peeks of like what I'm buying or what I'm eating or just things like that on a regular basis. So if you're curious to know kind of more what I do on a daily basis, at least as far as like food and eating and health and all that, and of course, if you have yet to subscribe, you should go ahead and do that as well so you can join my little community here on YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my grocery haul slash Costco haul for this week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.